Hi everyone, welcome to today's story time. My name is Miss Yvonne and actually May is the Asian slash Pacific American uh, Heritage Month. So today we're gonna talk about some stories and sing some songs in both Chinese and English, okay? So if you're ready, let's get started. Okay, so the first story we're gonna talk about is Bringing in the New Year by Grace Ling. And she is one of my favorite author for Chinese and English um, stories. And let's see what this story is about, all right? So over here, you can see that we have some spring couplets that we put on doors to wish for good luck. We have some firecrackers that we will do on Chinese New Year's Eve. And we have some good old fish and spring lantern and decorated kumquat tree. Some broom for cleaning up, some bunny lantern, some symbolic sun, some oranges, and a lot of good stuff that we're gonna use in Chinese New Year. Okay, let's get the story started. Bring in the New Year. Xin Nian Kuai Le. So, Xin Nian Kuai Le is actually Happy New Year. So, can you repeat after me? Xin Nian Kuai Le. Xin Nian Kuai Le. That's right, Happy New Year! Is the New Year coming? Hmm, I hope so. We try to welcome it in. Wow, do you see? There are still snows over here. So, Jie sweeps the old year out of the house. Jie is a older sister in Chinese. Can you repeat after me? Jie Jie, that's right, Jie Jie. So before New Year, all the families have to sweep and clean the whole house so that we can get the bad luck out and keep the good luck in. Baba, hence the spring happiness poems. Okay, so Baba is daddy in Chinese. Can you repeat after me? Baba. And one more time, Baba. That's right. So on Chinese New Year, we will hand the string couplets on the door. So one will be on the left side of the door, another one be on the right side of the door, and sometimes we have one on top of the door as well. And it's also just to wish for good luck. And this one is the one that we'll put on the front of the door, and this means happiness and good luck. Mama makes the garage dumpling. So mama is mommy in Chinese. Can you repeat after me? Mama. And one more time. Mama. That's right. And for a lot of families on Ch Chinese New Year's Day, we will do a lot of dumplings. And we will also make the dumpling skin by ourselves too. And this is the mixture of vegetables and pork. And we will use some water to seal the dumplings on the side and make the shapes of the dumplings like this. It's a lot of fun to make dumplings. Very easy and very, very yummy. Mei gets a fresh haircut. Mei Mei is younger sister in Chinese. So can you repeat after me? Mei Mei. Mei Mei. That's right. And of course, before Chinese New Year, we will make ourselves very fresh and new and clean to celebrate. So we will do a haircut as well. And I put on my new qi pao dress for the New Year feast. Now will the New Year come? And you can see here that everyone is wearing this very traditional Chinese clothes. And this one is called qi pao. Can you repeat after me? Qi pao. That's right. That is very, very traditional to wear. We usually only wear that for very special festivals, just like the Chinese New Year. And there are different colors, different designs, and qi pao are only for girls to wear. Pop, pop, pop! Do you hear the firecrackers? Are they bringing in the New Year? Whoa! And there will be fireworks and firecrackers on New Year's Eve and everyone will gather and take a look at the beautiful fireworks. No, but they brought in the lions! They are here to scare away last year's bedlock. 
They scare Mei Mei too. Oh, don't cry, Mei Mei. So on New Year's Day or New Year's Eve, you will see a lot of performances like the Lion Dance or the Dragon Dance. It's all for keeping the good luck in and scare the bad luck out. Where is the New Year? We carry the lanterns to light its way. I hope the New Year follows us soon. So you can see that all the little kids are carrying different sorts of lanterns. There is this cat one, the pig one, the rabbit one, the turtle one. All sorts of different and beautiful lanterns. Wow, look, there's the, what is the animal here? That's right, a dragon, a Chinese dragon. And he is waking him up by opening his eyes. The new year must be coming. Ooh, do you see Auntie drawing the dragon eyes over here? The dragon's awake. Is it the new year's at last? Whoa! Yes, hooray! The new year's is here. Happy new year, everyone! Can you see? This is the big dragon over here. And do you still remember how to say Happy New Year in Chinese? Yep, that's right. Xin Nian Kuai Le. Can you repeat after me? Xin Nian Kuai Le. And Happy New Year, everyone! And now that we finished our first story of Chinese New Year, we are gonna sing a song about Chinese New Year's and dragons, alright? So let's all stand up and we will sing this song together. See the dragons dance and prance, dance and prance, dance and prance. See the dragons dance and prance on Chinese New Year's Day. Good job, everyone. And now the dragons like to hop. So let's hop together, right? See the dragons hop, 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 hop. hop. See the dragons hop, hop, hop on Chinese New Year's Day. And now the dragons want to turn around. And let's do it, alright? See the dragons turn around, turn around, turn around. See the dragons turn around on Chinese New Year's Day. And now the dragons are very tired and they want to go to sleep. So let's do it. See the dragons go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. See the dragons go to sleep on Chinese New Year's Day. Good job, everyone. Okay, so the second story we're going to talk about is this one. Eyes That Kids in the Corners by Joanna Ho, illustrated by Don Ho. Let's see what the story is about, all right? Some people have eyes like sapphire lagoons, with lashes like lace stream on ball gowns, sweeping their cheeks as they twirl, big eyes, long lashes. Not me. I have eyes that kiss in the corners and glow like warm tea. Hmm, my eyes are just like mama's. Yay. Mama's eyes that kiss in the corners and glow like warm tea crinkle into crescent moons. When she comes home from work, she scoops me in her arms, eyes sparkling like starlight, and tickles me until we laugh ourselves onto the floor. Aww. When Mama tucks me in at night, her eyes tell me I'm a miracle. In those moments when she's all mine, flecks of dancing gold tell me I'm hers too. My mama is my sun and my sky, and her eyes are just like Amas. Oh, this is grandma here too. Amas' eyes that kiss in the corners and glow like warm tea don't work like they used to. But she sees all the way into my heart and can even read my mind. Her eyes are filled with so many stories. I can fall inside them and swim until time stops. 
Do you see the stories Ama is telling? I see Guan Yin with the Monkey King sitting on a lotus, serene. Bubbles of lychee on trees and mountains that reach for the sea. My Ama never ages and her eyes are just like Mei Mei's. Aww, this is the younger sister over here. Mimi's eyes that kiss in the corners and glow like warm tea blink against the window until I come home from school. They disappear beneath her two-tooth smile. When I walk in the door, she toddles after me, gazing up at me like I am her best present. I hope she looks at me like that forever because when she looks at me in that way, I feel like I can fly. You see the two sisters playing together? That's so sweet. Mei Mei's eyes that kiss in the corners and glow like warm tea are just like mine. My eyes crinkle into crescent moons and sparkle like the stars, gold flax stands and twirl while stories swirl in their oolong pool. Carrying tales of the past and hope for the future. Wow, this is so beautiful. I see a lot of dragons here, a little fish over here, birds too. My eyes find mountains that rise ahead and look up when others shut down. My lashes curve like the swords of warriors and through them I see kingdoms in the clouds. My eyes that kiss in the corners and glow like warm tea are a revolution. There are Mama and Ama and Mimi. They are me and they are beautiful. The end. Okay, now we're going to sing the song of Head, Shoulders, Knees and Toes. I think you all know this song very well, but I'm gonna teach you the Chinese one as well. So let's learn some Chinese together, right? So head is toe. Can you repeat after me? Toe. Shoulder is jianbang. Can you repeat after me? Jianbang. Knees is xi gai. Can you repeat after me? Xi gai. And toes are jiao or jiao zi tou. But here we will say the easier one, which is jiao. Can you repeat after me? Jiao. And eye is yan jing. Can you repeat after me? Yan jing. And ear is er duo. Can you repeat after me? Er duo. And nose is bi zi. Can you repeat after me? Bi zi. And finally, mouth is zui. Can you repeat after me? Zui. Good job, everyone. So now we're gonna sing the song in English first and then Chinese, okay? Let's do it! Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes And eyes and ears and mouth and nose Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes Great everyone! And now we're gonna do the Chinese one And you can sing along and follow me, alright? And now we're gonna sing faster, right? Great job, everyone! And now we are going to talk about the very last story, which is I Dream of Popo, written by Livia Blackburn, illustrated by Julia Cool. Let's see what the story is about. 
So this story is very special because it talks about my hometown, Taiwan, which is a beautiful little country in Asia. And let's see what the story is about. I dream with Popo as she rocks me in her arms. She sings, Baby Xing, Baby Gan. In my heart, I hear, My baby, my heart. My baby, my love. You see Grandma over here. I walk with Popo in the park, squeezing her finger in my chubby palm. When I wobble, she holds me up. She pushes me on the swing and leads me to hear the birds sing. Mm -hmm. I bow to Popo on New Year's Day. She asks if I've been good and gives me a red envelope. Then she fries up crispy, gooey, sweet New Year's cakes. So hot, they almost burn my tongue. Do you see the whole feast over here for Chinese New Year? That's what we do. And the little kids will bow to their seniors. And if they're good kids, they will get a red envelope. I sit with Popo and she shows me where I'm going to live. Here is Taiwan, so tiny, surrounded by blue. And there is San Diego, far, far away. You will learn and see many new things, she said. I wave at Popo before I board my flight with Mama and Baba. The airplane thrums like the biggest cat I've ever seen. Fly safely, Popo says. Call me every week and tell me about your adventures. I think of Popo as I meet new friends, kids with hair of every color and skin of every shade. They say hi, and I say ni hao, and ni hao is hi in Chinese. Can you repeat after me? Ni hao, and ni hao. That's right. I talk to Popo from across the sea. I'm learning a new language, I say, and I miss your dumplings. I'll make them for you when you visit, she said. I draw a Popo at my new school. Below the picture I write, my grandma. Though it feels strange to call her that. I learn other words too. Taiwan is Taiwan. Dumpling is 饺子. Can you repeat after me? 饺子. Motorcycle is 摩托车. Can you repeat after me? 摩托车. My grandma is 婆婆. Home is 家. Taxi is 出租车. San Diego is 圣地亚哥. School bus, 校车. Teacher, 老师. Friend, 朋友, palm tree, 棕榈树, and new home, 新房子. After a while, the words form easier on my tongue. I hug Popo when I come back to visit. Now, ni hao is what feels strange in my mouth. Other words, too, are hard to catch, like fish in a deep well. I asked Mama why I can't talk to Popo like before. You can still hug her as tight as before, she says. I do. Popo hugs me even tighter. I eat with Popo in her house, surrounded by the fragrance of guihua blossoms. She cooks my favorite dumplings dipped in soy sauce and sesame oil. Her house looks smaller than I remember. but. Everything smells the same. Mmm. Popo looks smaller too. Her hair is more white. And they are making dumplings over here. When I board the plant again, Popo packs me dumplings to eat on the way. I wonder how she'll look when I see her again. I pray for Popo. When we hear she is sick, hmm. I sing to her as she lies in bed, frail under heavy blankets. 
I wish I could reach across the ocean and hold her up. She whispers to me in a voice soft as bird song. Baby she, my baby, my heart. It's a promise and a kiss. I dream of Popo coming to me while I sleep. I say, Ni hao. She says, Hello. I say, Wo ai ni. She says, I love you too. Can you repeat after me? Wo ai ni. That's right. That's I love you in Chinese. A breeze brushes my face, rich with the scent of gui hua. I tell Popo about my adventures and she smiles. The end. And that's it for today's story time. I hope you enjoy it. My name is Miss Yvonne and I'll see you next time. Bye.